Howdy folks, this is a uh, short video about a uh, homebrew TV antenna. So this is an uh, axial mode helical antenna dual band. So it has uh, helixes, hel helical elements for both UHF and VHF. <clears throat> and so the uh, you can see uh, right here, that's the helical element for the UHF band. That is um, 4 and 13 16 uh, spacing uh, pitch, and it's an 8-inch diameter helix. And then the VHF band, uh, in my area, it actually works out pretty well to use triple that, both for the pitch. So from, from here to here is uh, 17 and 7 16 and uh, the diameter of the helix uh, from, from, I guess, down here up to here is 24 inches. So it's, it's, it's triple the pitch of the UHF and triple the uh, diameter of the UHF. So we have uh, 15 coils um, or 15 turns on the UHF uh, band and five on the VHF band. And that... Um, that spacing was uh, slightly different than optimal, but it allowed me to share support. So, for example, this support is uh, shared uh, supporting the UHF coil as well as the VHF coil. And, uh, of course, there's a large reflector here on the back. Uh, the large size of the reflector is mostly due to the VHF. Um, you know, of course, it could be basically one-third that size um, or the ground plane could be one third that size if it uh, uh, if it were only the UHF band. Anyway, so um, this uh, antenna design is um, you know it was inspired by another YouTuber. Let's see if I can post a link in the in the description below. I don't remember exactly um, what her channel was, but she she made a. Um, you know, a um, little prototype test version of this. And then, of course, uh, here on the back, uh, I should mention that, um, you know, there are two inputs for that. There's the, uh, the VHF um, or output and the, uh, and the UHF output. Um, and they go together into this uh, UHF and uh, VHF combiner here. Is not a splitter. It's a combiner, and it has something like the uh, the VHF side. Let's see if I can get that string out of the way. The uh, the VHF side has something like a one dB loss, and the UHF side's got like half a dB loss. But anyway, those two uh, signals get combined, and then I've got it. Oh, bumped my faucet on. I've got it uh, coming over here to the TV, and um, you can see, you know, I'm kind of in the Sacramento area, um, but you can see the uh, signal strength here is pretty good. This is our channel three on RF channel 35. So, um, and then uh, like, uh, let me go back here. So I think Fox is at a little lower frequency. Um, that's channel 40. Um, yeah, and so let's just go back into the menu here. I'll select that. Yeah, okay, so also good reception down here on RF channel 22. Um, and then let's try some of the VHF channels. There's only two of them here. It's our PBS, which is uh, virtual channel six. I think that's um, VHF channel nine. Let's just check here real quick. Ooh. Yeah, channel nine. And, uh, you know, not quite as good. Of course, there's not as many wraps, there's not as many turns on that helical. Uh, but in the past, we've not, uh, we've never gotten reception 
here on channel nine. Oh, actually, that's not true. We have gotten channel nine, um, but uh, the uh, ABC is on virtual channel 10, which I think is also RF channel 10. Uh, menu, I'm not very good at doing this, sorry. Um, yeah, we've never gotten ABC before. And you can see we're on RF channel 10, and it's, you know, it's pretty good. It's kind of in the middle of the range. So um, this antenna is simultaneously a great success and then also a complete failure uh, because, unfortunately, the, um, the construction of this house uh, is such that, um, you know, it's a stucco house. And I, I didn't think about this. Somebody pointed this out to me when I was halfway through construction, but I, I went ahead and finished it just to try it out. Um, you know, they put chicken wire to hold the stucco on. And so this antenna, you know, it's made of materials that will, um, that are really only suitable for use in, in an indoor setting. It's just cheap, cheap plywood and uh, covered in... Uh, you know, kitchen aluminum foil. And then, you know, all this is just bare wood. So this really has to be in the attic. And so between the fact that uh, the walls are covered in chicken wire and the roof up here, all the sheathing on the roof is foil covered OSB. Uh, there's just basically no signal that gets that gets into the attic. Uh, and to make that worse, um, our house is a uh, one story. And then uh, you know we have to we have to aim this antenna. We're, we're fortunate in one respect that all the transmitters are pretty um, pretty close to the same uh, direction. And uh, so we need to aim this antenna around, I think it's uh, one hundred and ninety degrees. Um, but uh, to aim it that direction, here's our neighbor's house. And uh, if it's in the attic, it's just going to, you know, be aiming directly at their wall. And, uh, you know, there's this is a stucco-covered house, too. So um, basically, this is a futile effort, um, simultaneously, uh, you know, a very successful project and also a complete failure. I'll probably see if I can just, you know, give it away on... Uh, on Craigslist or something like that. Maybe, maybe somebody has a house with just plain old wood sheathing, and they can uh, make use of it. But anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to point that out to you, or uh, kind of show you the project, let you know it is indeed, um, you know, a, a good option uh, if you if you're not up against the challenges that we are at this location. All right. Well, hope you have a good day, and we'll catch you later. Bye.